adventure continues. We're set up in here tonight on a on a wheat field that's been mowed down pretty good by turkeys and cows, but uh, we're hoping these birds are going to filter in through here. We got the the Dave Smith and the Avian X decoys out there, and uh, we are uh, in Oklahoma and pumped. So tonight it's definitely not about me. I got my buddy here and the owner of Croton Creek Ranch, Scott Sanderford, and he is on his second leg of his Grand Slam. So tell him about it. Well, I went to Florida and shot my Osceola and now I'm after a Rio. And then we go on to an Eastern and a Miriam. So he's up first tonight and this would be, he's worried this is going to be his toughest bird to get because it's uh, on his, his own place here. So we're going to have to see what, what happens. But we know there's a lot of birds in here and now it's just a matter of uh, embracing the heat and the wind and seeing if we can fight through it and get the job done. But Hopefully we'll have some birds coming shortly. Well, it's our first morning in Oklahoma and our second sit. We sat last night and we had hens. We had hens around us all over, but the gobbler stayed across the road and we just couldn't pull him over. I'm not sure why, but uh, came to a spot this morning and uh, there, there's probably more birds down here. We could glass it. It's about a quarter mile away, but there's probably more turkeys in this turkey roost than I've ever seen in a spring turkey roost. And I've seen them in a fall turkey roost that thick, but there's a lot of birds. But it's a perfect morning and it's clear and it's a little cool and they did not gobble one time, a hen didn't yelp one time, and I'm pretty confident we had heard them because we're, it's so still, I mean, the wind's not whipping like it was yesterday, so. But, we're here, we're set up, and uh, hopefully Scott's gonna get his crack this morning at his Rio, and maybe one will stick around and I can put one, put an arrow in one too, so. But the birds are out of the roost and hopefully they're coming this way, but they are being very quiet about it. So, we're just gonna button down and see what happens. Wonderful morning. 
beautiful. And I mean, we put it on them. That Jake's come in and bowed up and then they started putting a little bit. There were some hands behind them. And I don't know if they caught movement or what, but I wasn't giving them the chance. And I sure as heck wasn't waiting for a Tom. That's a boy bird with my bow and he is done. Thank you, Lord. What a beautiful day in Oklahoma. Oh, it just, it, I swear, <laughs> if that doesn't pump you up, man, I love it. birds to shoot. Scott's got clients coming in here uh, in the next few days and we want to get out of here but uh, I'm so stoked. I mean we hammered both of those birds and that's why you shoot. That's why you practice and uh, we put them to sleep this morning and this is Scott's second bird. He's on his grand slam run. This is bird number two. The Osceola. This is the Rio. Two more to go. He's got two more to go but this one this is a yeah, pretty special bird. This is on our home turf. That's right. This is birds we've been watching all year. Don't get much better than, than, than hunting here at Croton Creek in Oklahoma, I can promise you. I do it as often as I can, and it is absolutely an awesome place. But we gotta get out of here. We're gonna leave this blind, but we're gonna grab the DSDs and the Avian X's and get these birds and get out of here. Hope to see you on the next one. That's right. <laughs>